The inverse function theorem can be so useful when it comes to solving systems of nonlinear equations, or rather, knowing when you can solve such systems. Let's look at a more complicated example of solving a system of nonlinear equations. Can you solve the following system for u and v in terms of x and y, where x plus 4uv equals e to the uv minus y, and second equation, y minus 2v equals x minus e to the uv. Can you solve for u and v as a function of x and y? I have no idea. This looks really difficult. But first, let's solve in reverse. It's going to be easier to get x and y by itself. For example, if I add these two equations together, do a little manipulation, I get that 2y equals 2v minus 4 times u times v. And likewise, if I subtract the second equation from the first equation, manipulate that a little bit, I get 2x equals 2e to the uv minus 4uv minus 2v. Now, this is good because now I can get x and y isolated. If I divide both sides of these equations by 2, I get x equals e to the uv minus 2uv minus v, and y equals v minus 2 times u times v. I'm going to consider this as a function of u and v. And now, what I want to know is where is this function invertible? The inverse function theorem says, hey, compute the derivative. When I take the partials in u, I get v e to the uv minus 2v, and then minus 2v. When I take the partials with respect to v, I get u e to the uv minus 2u minus 1, and 1 minus 2u. Now, when is this invertible? Let's pick some inputs. Let's say when u is 0 and v equals 0, substituting that into this formula for the derivative, I get 0, negative 1, 0, 1. That determinant is 0. That means I'm not guaranteed to have an inverse. Now, now, maybe, maybe higher order terms would help, but linear, mm -mm. On the other hand, at u equals 0 and v equals 1, I get the matrix negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, 1, which is an invertible matrix because the determinant is non-zero. That means that the function is locally invertible here. We know something about the derivative of the inverse. We are going to be able to solve locally for u and v in terms of x and y. Systems of nonlinear equations are so hard. The inverse function theorem tells you when you're guaranteed to get a solution and when it's time to neither give up or get ready to try harder.